now part two of the engine install. We are almost ready to put the, the base plates down for the engine mounts, have everything bolted down. We need to do a little bit of fiberglass work, a little bit of epoxy work before we put these plates down. Now I've seen many people just go ahead and put the uh, engine base plates down. Uh, the aluminum plates bolted to this fiberglass pan. Uh, no issue. I mean, this is not structural. The pan itself is, is hollow on the bottom side. And um, I mean, if we don't fill in the old uh, mounting screw holes, it really probably won't be that big of a deal. Uh, but I think, I think we've talked about this with this boat before, which is, you know, it's, it's on the farm here. There's uh, no cost in storing it. There's no timetable. Can take our time, do everything right. The other thing is, although moisture, water are not likely in this area, I still think in the event of any sort of moisture, uh, it won't have any non-backfilled area to, to get to here in the fiberglass. Now it's gonna be a little bit of tricky work getting the tape on the bottom side of these holes. That way I can use epoxy uh, with an additive, I'm going to be using uh, silica to kind of thicken up the epoxy. Uh, this isn't going to be a video on how to mix epoxy. There's plenty of those. Um, uh, I'll share a few of the tips that I um, have come to learn about. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll get started on cleaning this area. We're going to be sanding, kind of, uh, cratering out the, the holes giving the epoxy some, some new glass to adhere to. It's time to get the plates down so we can line up the jig in the new drive shaft and coupler and make sure everything is, um, the measurements are, are on point. Before the plates are bolted down, we'll do a quick paint of this uh, fiberglass uh, engine pan. And uh, nothing else will be painted yet. We have some other details to do there, but we wanna at least get the, the plates on bolted and so we want to do all the prep work first. Uh, once the plates are on, I'm not messing with that at all. All right, so let's get started. This is what I use to kind of crater out any sort of holes that I want to fill back in with thick and epoxy. This will come in handy on the deck when we fix a lot of the spider cracking and reinstall new hardware. You, know, you want to crater out around the old screw holes. You just want to make sure it's a nice clean epoxied area to be able to reinstall whatever it might be kind of freshened up the glass here on this pan and we'll be able to begin to lay down the epoxy the trick will be to get the tape on the back side 
and then to remove these old screws. We're taking this lower step out so we can try to get the tape underneath these old screw holes. And this should let us should give us access also to the bilge. Now we're back here the next day. Everything had a chance to had a chance to cure nice and solid. Any sort of residue, I mean, can kind of come through and really scrape it off. But this is the engine bay. It's not that big of a an issue. It's all going to be covered up anyways. Um, could not get tape into the holes yesterday. So I have another idea. So since it's very difficult to tape the bottom side of these remaining holes, I have a simple piece of cardboard wire and we'll be able to seal it from the top. So as you can see, it's kind of once I get some thickened epoxy on this, I'll be able to pull it up and tighten that cardboard up. Uh, maybe even tape down some of these wires. Can always come back and cut the wire, but uh, we can pull it off from the bottom side later.
And you see, this will kind of keep it in place. I'm going to finish thickening it up. And that way everything will be all set up. And then, you see how we get this one off. And then we're going to plug. All right, so the last little step, get that last little hole plugged. It's just nice and smooth. And it's all getting painted over. And these will be all cured up by tomorrow, but we can at least paint up to those aft, where those aft mounts were. 